Hi, I'm David. I created this channel to show you one picture at a time and share one story behind this picture. This photo will not change and at the end I will ask you a question. Something for you to think about and I hope you engage with me by giving me an answer. Take a deep breath, relax, and thank you for being here. I took a trip in 2018 to Barcelona, Spain. I like taking hikes and looking at the countryside whenever I'm taking trips. This trip was no exception. I went to the Montserrat Mountains, finished our hike, and at the end decided to take a couple of hours to explore the monastery and go inside the church. Well, the church contains miracle working, the statue of the Madonna and child known as La Morineta. This actual um, sculpture of art is made out of wood, I think, and it's uh, covered in gold and it's turned uh, dark. Uh, I think it's because of the time and the materials that were being used. But the actual sculpture is a lot larger than, than what you see here in this picture. I invite you to go to the to a website and Google uh, Lady of Montserrat or La Moreneta and you'll see the entire uh, piece of art, the artwork. Uh, uh, it's, it's almost as big as I am uh, and I'm six foot. Well, in order to see the Moreneta, uh, you have to wait in line and you have to kind of like climb through some stairs and kind of get, uh, wait your moment to, uh, to see the actual uh, piece. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like an orb that she's holding in her hand and people touch it and they do this in an effort to uh, get a miracle. So when it's your turn, um, you have to move fast uh, because there's a lot of people waiting. But during this time when I was waiting and, and, and watching people, there were some people that were just elated, happy, beaming with joy. And then others were sad, sometimes crying. And once in a while, you would see a person holding their hand close to their chest as if, if they had something that they didn't want to let go. And uh, I don't know, it was just very moving. So when I went up to the uh, my turn, I was actually kind of nervous. I really didn't know what to do. My goal was just to take a photo. But in looking at it, uh, I kind of felt compelled to you know, make my own wish. I was kind of nervous. I didn't know if I should make the wish first or take the photo, but I could hear a person behind me, you know, tapping in the rails with her finger, uh, with her ring. And it uh, kind of made me even more nervous, right? Kind of like trying to anxious to get, get through the, the piece. So I decided to take a photo, but I had my flash on and that didn't work, right? Because it's a big uh, piece of uh, acrylic mirror or glass that's right in front of it. So I stepped back, uh, readjusted, refocused, but this time I decided to lean a little bit forward and took a deep breath and just took the photo, which is the photo that you see here. Now, the funny thing is that I made my wish and then moved on like everybody else. So after a couple of years, the pandemic hit, you know, uh, COVID-19 was around and I was one of the people that got sick before the vaccine. So I had a very bad pneumonia took me some time to heal, but I'm here. Here's something that I did. I actually printed this photo in aluminum and it came out really, really nice. I keep it in my work studio and every time I go on a trip or something, I, I, I just touch the little orb with my finger and ask for the same thing, long life. The funny thing is that by printing the photo and putting it here uh, in YouTube and posting it in my Instagram, it's actually here for life, right? For a long, long time with my image imprinted in the back, which I think it's funny that I think I get to uh, my wish twice <laughs> in a different format. So here's my question to you. Have you ever asked the universe or God or a saint or someone for something uh, close to your beliefs and gotten what you expected? Or maybe you got it in a different way. Please share with me. And thank you for being here. I will share another picture with another photo in my next uh, posting. Please join me by subscribing, by hitting, you know, that little bell, and uh, like if you enjoyed the story. Every story will be different, and uh, we'll see you soon.